the meaning of the word Davos. I draw the purpose and meaning from the word Davos. I also educate you on the demon of Davos. Davos etymology First attested as Davos from Romansh Tavao, behind. That would mean in retinue, in the background, beyond the veil, referring to the valley in which it lies. A double meaning. From Latin D, from, of, plus post, behind. The creatures behind the throne of glory, working for a creature standing in retinue, post, from, of, behind, religion. Do not be deceived. In India, the Devas become more powerful than the Azuras, and the latter word Azura eventually took on the meaning of demon. This is what I mean by do not be deceived. The Devas are in retinue of demons. The Devas are behind the demons. Davos, Davos, a mountain resort in Switzerland and municipality in Grisons, Switzerland, host of the World Economic Forum, where they will own everything and they will not be happy. A municipality is a subdivision state. Mussolini's definition of fascism, and I'm sure he would know, is when corporations merge with government. A municipality Now the next meaning relates to the ancient mystery, the word mitomini, from Greek mitomenia, means change of name, or misnomer. It is a figure of speech, in which the name of an object or concept is replaced with a word closely related to it, or suggested by the original. For example, crown, to mean king, both meaning corona. Or lugal, meaning when the master gets angry, he kills. Now, Mr. Evil. Dr. Evil, I didn't spend six years in evil medical school to be called Mr. Thank you very much. Mentomenia. Anzu, Mamu, Lugalbanda, Shamash, Utu, Utuku. Known as Mentomenia. Don't mess with me, I'm one crazy mofo. I had to pop a cop because he wasn't giving me my props in Oaktown. No? I heard that somewhere. Mento Miyakali, an annual meeting of business leaders, major politicians, economists, and other celebrities hosted by the World Economic Forum in the town of Davos, Switzerland. Grison, Switzerland fits perfectly into the series of ancient mystery. What does Grison mean? You won't believe it. Grison etymology, borrowed from French Grisons. The etymology is incomplete. That was until I stepped up to the bench. Grison, from Gris, Grey, refers to a generic group or class, a word or phrase, that is used to describe some general or vague group or class. Grison, from Gris, Grey, referring to the colour of the clothes worn by the original inhabitants. 
the Uddug Hull, demons, good and bad, like the Devas and Azuras. This is also reflected in the German name, Graubunden, Grey League. The alien Grey appear to be avatars for the Davos, the demons. The Grisons are the Grey Robes, Krakultana, roughly meaning Grey Frocks, like a dress. The Grey Shirts or grey robes, a religious mystic apocalyptic sect within radical pietism, active in Stockholm, in Sweden, in the 1730s, 40 some years before the Illuminati was born. They would be the priests Malachi is speaking about, as above, so below. I knew there was a Germanic connection. There are Norse runes upon the steel of Shumash, the North and South Serpent Estate. We also have the elements of Enoch, who was a pious man, and in a similar fashion, Grakultana believed in the interpretations of dreams and visions. Their message was, that the apocalypse was approaching. The evolution of the fearmongers of the Ikur. You will not work, and you will be happy. They also renounced work, and what they felt they had been ordered to do by divinity, Davos, the demon. Many also chose to live in celibacy, population control. They regarded luxury consumption and wealth growing in Stockholm because of its flourishing merchant business in Sweden during the Age of Liberty, which they regarded as sinful. Do not be deceived. The elite at Davos, the Reich at Davos, are the root cause for luxury consumption. The world has been playing Monopoly. The winners do not want to play anymore. They have taken all the physical wealth. Now they are left empty. There is nothing to drive them anymore. They have no drive anymore. They know the game is rigged. Very well. Where do I begin? My father was a relentlessly self-improving boulangerie owner from Belgium with low-grade narcolepsy and a penchant for buggery. My mother was a 15-year-old French prostitute named Chloe with webbed feet. The Grison sect also attracted positive attention and followers outside of Stockholm. I ask myself, could this be the root cause for Stockholm Syndrome? A feeling of trust or affection felt in many cases of kidnapping or hostage taking by a victim towards a captor. I answer my own questions, as should you. More than likely the answer is yes. The Grey Robe sect violated the law of the Conventicle Act, which banned all religious gatherings outside of the state church in order to protect the power of the church. In July 1731, the sect was reported to authorities by the Vicar of Maria Congregation in Stockholm. At the following arrest, nine women and a man by the name of Lexelius were arrested. The rest had fled to avoid arrest. Alienated, caught in the snare of their own creation, repeated failures. The 
the goat god of Davos, the Graysons, the Grey League demon. I have seen that goat symbol before. It is Rubezal, or Rubengzal. Check, Krakonos, the bloody Kraken. Rubenzal is a folkloric mountain spirit, a wood woes, meaning wild man, of the giant mountains, a mountain range along the border between the historical lands of Bohemia and Silencia. Oh, there's a big connection, isn't there? Those who fail to learn history are doomed to repeat it. Bohemia and Silencia. Silencia. Rubenzal is the subject of many legends and fairy tales in German, Polish, and Czech folklore. Rubenzal is a name of ridicule, the use of which provokes his anger. Therefore the name is a curse, invoking the wrath of this demon. Don't be alarmed by my work. There are variations of this title that I'm sure you've used yourself, even myself. Rubenzal's respective names are Lord of Mountains, Treasure Keeper, or among the herbalists, Lord John, Herr Hoans, Domini Owens. Dear John, root name Owens, the head of the Apkalu, who came by the way of water. Where did Rubenzal originate? Could this figure have moved north? It is hard to say. Velez is a town in ancient Macedon. Velez, also known as Volos, possibly Velas, Vale, phonic respelling from Scandinavian mythology, a prophetess, goose, geese, more than likely referring to the original prophetess, who Velez may have replaced. Velez is a Slavic god of earth, waters, livestock, and the underworld. His attributes are wet, woolly, hairy, bearded, and dark, mentoni Michele. And he is associated with cattle, the harvest, wealth, music, magic, and trickery. Mentonemically, that would be Hermes, or Mamu, Abzu, Tehut, etc., etc. Mentonemically. Velez. After the advent of Christianity, Velez was split into several different characters. As a god of the underworld and dragons, he became identified with the devil, the alienated one the greys, the grey suns. Neither dark nor light, balanced in between. It is a deception used to fool the ignorant. The people are not ignorant. We are not ignorant. We are fooled by mentonimi, the evolution of language. Velez, his more benevolent sides, were transformed into several Christian saints. It would also appear that Velez became Krampus.
In many Eastern Slavic folk tales, Velez was replaced by Saint Nicholas. Probably because the popular stories of the saint describe him as a giver of wealth and as a sort of trickster. Davos, similar to the Davos and Azuras, the good Udug and the bad Udug, who can't be told apart. They are Graysons. What the hell is this? <laughs> St. Nicholas is not coming this year. Instead, a much darker ancient spirit. Those are hooves. Elk? Or a goat? What kind of goat walks on its hind legs? His name is Krampus. He is the shadow of St. Nicholas. his helpers did not come to give, but to take. An ancient Russian word, Valeshkanishk, probably refers to the palace where Valez dwells. Similar to the Ikur, it is the underground kingdom, or an entrance to it. What is the difference between the Ikur and the World Economic Forum? in Davos. Time. The only difference is time. I want you to understand how long they have failed. They have never been successful. The people of Davos should be worried. They are the children of the fallen. But remind me what happened to the children in Babylon. They were scapegoats. Could this be the round robin? Quantum time or time slice? I mean, is it a transition point? The round robin is a preemptive algorithm. Each transition to the next transition would be a Ruben Zhao. While I was digging, I found the term Rubenzol, also referred to as Rubenzol, which is a contract bridge convention. A contract bridge convention can be used to counter an opponent's intervention over a 1NT opening bid. After the opponent's two-level overcall, all bids starting from 2NT are transfer bids to the next strain. This could be defined as a literary algorithm, a time slice, a preemptive algorithm, a contract used to counter an opponent's intervention. We the people are alienated. We are the opponents. We are their adversaries. There we have it, my friends. Do not fear. Their fate is sealed. As it was, so shall it be again, and again, and again. The elite, the rich, the Reich, is caught in a snare of its own creation. The deity they work for has weeded them out. They were told, but they did not listen.